Hello and welcome to the National Park Wild. I'm Eric, and while I was working on my Alaska videos, I got to 250 subscribers way sooner than I expected. Thank you so much for that. So I thought, before getting into my videos on the other Alaska parks, I'm going to rank every national park I've been to. I've been to 58 of the 63 national parks, so this is going to be quite a long video. I'll try to keep my description short for each one. I'm going to have some separate reviews on a lot of them, and already do for some, but let me quickly say a few caveats. First of all, the parks I've not been to are Acadia, New River Gorge, Mammoth Cave, Wind Cave, and American Samoa. American Samoa is one I probably will not get to for quite a while. And of these 58, I want to point out, I really like most of them. So some really great parks will rank pretty low. It's not because they're bad. It's just because others I think are better. It's based on my experience. I'll try to explain why for each of them, why I like some. And one more thing I'm going to point out is that there are some where I didn't spend as much time as others. So for ones that were at a bit of a disadvantage, I will point that out. So you don't immediately think, oh, the park is bad. It's because I didn't spend quite as much time. There's a few where it was a while ago and I went, or even recently, and I just didn't get to see everything in any national park. I have not seen every single thing in any of these. So there are different things I saw. And it's all based on what I saw and did in these parks. Now let's get into the ranking. Starting with last place, number 58 is Gateway Arch National Park. This opinion should not anger too many. It's an okay arch, but as a national park, it's easily last place. Very little nature, just a bit of history. Not really worthy of park status. Number 57, this one will anger a few, Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Hear me out. I did not see a lot of this park. I didn't do... The longest trails because when i went it was quite a while ago it was a really bad experience due to some really big crowds like worse than any other park i had been to we just didn't see the best parts of the park so do not take my word for this this is probably a very good park but i just did not see the best parts of it number 56 is cuyahoga valley national park this one is a step up from gateway arch has a bit of nature to it i like brandywine falls however other than that, it's just kind of okay. There's really not a whole lot to it to see. Just the waterfall, and after that, it's a city park, really. Number 55 is Indiana Dunes National Park. This one is very weird, as it's one of the most civilized. It's right there with Gateway Arch. You have a bit of beach and history and some forests and such, but then there's a steel mill right across from the park boundary. You can see Chicago in the distance. It's not really the most wilderness-like of a park. And the scenery is okay, but not that impressive. My favorite part was actually being able to see the skyline from there. And if my favorite part of a national park is seeing a city skyline, that's not a good sign. Number 54 is Hot Springs. I went in expecting the worst park, but this one actually has some pretty good stuff to it. I saw quite a bit of wildlife, including deer and many nice birds. I enjoyed some of the trails, especially Balanced Rock. It was a pretty quiet park. The campground was really, really nice. And that's all good stuff. The park is held back by the really awful tourist town known as Hot Springs. But I still like the park enough that it's not a bad park. It's good, actually. Number 53. From this point on, all of the parks are really good. None of them are bad. They're just ranked where they are because I happen to like others more. 53 is Capitol Reef. The main reason for this placement is because it was a drive through from Arches to Bryce Canyon. I didn't see enough to give a full opinion on it. I only did one hike, and that is why this one's ranked low. It's very beautiful, but I didn't see quite enough. Number 52 is Guadalupe Mountains National Park. I saw quite a few deer in this one, which is a highlight. The mountains are alright, but this one's not really the most impressive park for me. It's an alright desert park, but really not amazing. Number 51 is White Sands National Park. We didn't see a lot of this one either as we were headed toward Arizona for the parks there. However, the white sand dunes are absolutely beautiful. The ones that look like completely smooth, untouched, that's fantastic. I love that. It's a really pretty park, but I didn't really do much in it, and that's why it ranks so low. Number 50 is Biscayne National Park. This one's kind of the definition of the grass is greener on the other side, because I live in Florida. I see a lot of the animals and some of the scenery that's in this park on a daily basis that said i had some great experiences i got to see a manatee there's some pretty cool wildlife all around seeing the miami skyline's cool i enjoyed kayaking here it's a nice park 
I haven't actually snorkeled here yet, just outside of the park I did, but not in the park. What I saw, this park is still really good and I enjoy it. The scenery is just not quite as amazing as the others above it. Number 49 is Everglades National Park. Same issue as Biscayne, where I see a lot of the stuff on a daily basis, so it's not quite as special to me as someone who doesn't see alligators and such every day. Now, the wildlife here is still great. I mean, we saw dozens of alligators last time we went. I've seen this park quite a bit. I enjoy biking here. It's a really good park. However, there are others that I just think are a lot more impressive. Number 48 is North Cascades. Another one where I just did not see a lot of it. Please do not get too mad. Two big issues here. Time, where I did not spend more than half a day here. And weather, where clouds covered most of the mountains. We got to see a few cool waterfalls, and I liked that but we didn't even get all the way up to Diablo Lake. We didn't see a lot of the park at all. That said, the mountains are still very pretty. Number 47 is Shenandoah National Park. The eastern parks are just overall not really as impressive as the ones in the west. Shenandoah is nice. There's some good history here. Saw plenty of deer. There's some good stargazing. The scenic drive is obviously very nice. That's what it's known for, actually. And some of the hikes were good. The scenery was better than Great Smoky Mountains, in my opinion, but not by a ton, and it's not an amazing park. It's good, for sure, but does not quite beat out a few with better scenery. Number 46 is Kings Canyon National Park. I've mentioned before I didn't really see enough of this park to give a full verdict, because when I went, snow unfortunately meant we did not get into the canyon. We saw the outside of the canyon, and it was pretty. I also really loved the General Grant tree, so there is some really good stuff here. But we didn't see enough of it to get the full opinion. So while it definitely has great scenery, we didn't see quite enough. Number 45 is Kobuk Valley National Park. In my opinion, this is the weakest of the Alaska parks. The sand dunes in the Arctic are cool. However, what held them back is that when we went, it really didn't feel like an Alaska day. So the sand dunes didn't feel quite as otherworldly as if it were like a pretty cool day. The sand dunes are cool. We didn't see a ton of the mountains in Kobuk. But it's still a good park. Flying in is really awesome. And I'll be honest, this summer a lot more was going on in the park than I expected, so it wasn't quite as quiet and the serene solitude people talk about. That said, I'm so grateful I got to go here. Number 44 is Congaree National Park. An underrated one for sure. Some hate it, but I had a great experience with no one on the trails, nice weather, really great wildlife with plenty of birds and some deer the boardwalk trail being a really nice underrated hike, and this park is just a really fun one. It doesn't have the most to do, and it is just forest as far as scenery goes, but the experience was really, really great for me. Number 43 is Voyagers National Park. I have seen basically every corner of Cabotogama Lake, and there's some cool rocky shore and forests here. We saw deer, and I liked being on the water overall. However, this park falls flat when it comes to hiking more than anything else. And also, bugs are a huge issue. It's not just mosquitoes, ticks are, without a doubt, the biggest downside to this park in at least summer. It was a big issue for us, and it kind of holds back Voyagers as a whole. But even so, this one's not quite as amazing as some of the desert and mountain parks above it. Number 42 is Mesa Verde National Park. On a trip in July 2020 to 11 national parks, this was the weakest one, but still amazing. I went to some great parks in that trip. And this one, if you're into history a lot more than you are nature, this could be one of your absolute favorites. I like history for sure, but I'm more into the nature part. Not to say there isn't good scenery here, as Soda Canyon is a very nice area. Solid Desert, the biggest issue for me is that there isn't quite as much to do in the northern part of the park. And the southern part is mostly the cliff dwellings, which I did not get the to tour due to COVID. Very good park nonetheless. Number 41 is Petrified Forest. This is one where scenery was much more important than the experience. We got to spend very little time here because the park closed at 5 the day we went. This was when I also went to in 2020 on a different trip. Now, the scenery is amazing, honestly. Blue Mesa was stunning. The Painted Desert looks really awesome, and the Petrified Wood is actually quite a cool sight. So the park looks very nice, and while, sure, we didn't have a ton of time to see everything, the hikes and the scenery we did do and see were really, really good. 
Number 40 is Badlands National Park. This is the one where it's been the longest since I went to the park. It's been about six years now. So I don't have the most fair review. I remember the scenery being cool. We saw bighorn sheep and some antelope. So it is a good park. The biggest issue for me is the lack of hikes. However, the drive is very nice. And going back, I'm sure this park would be quite higher in the rankings. Number 39 is Joshua Tree. This California park is incredibly popular and one of the most respected. For me, it's a pretty small scale desert park. I like some of the rock formations for sure, and Barker Dam is one of the most underrated experiences that I've had in a park, with some really great bird life and cool scenery. There's some mountains surrounding, the trees themselves are really awesome, seeing thousands of them as you drive by, it's a cool park. I like it, but it's not a park that will blow me away, honestly. Some might be blown away, but not personally me. Number 38 is Redwood National Park. One crazy thing about this one is that it's forest and beach. That's the main things here. I'm more into mountains and desert, but this one has some amazing stuff. The massive trees and ferns combined really feel like an otherworldly place. Seeing large elk in the Elk Prairie area is great. The beaches are very nice, and I really liked getting to overlook some of the beaches. I had a nice experience here. It's a very quiet park. There's not a lot going on, which I like. The only issue as far as, like, civilization goes is that you drive on an interstate or state road at points. So it is a bit noisy in certain areas right outside the park, but you have to cross through them to go from place to place. That said, very nice park. Number 37 is Glacier Bay. Another one, I did not go very far into the park. I didn't see any glaciers because the tour I was on was of an entire area and Glacier Bay was just part of it. However... We saw humpback whales and orcas and a sea otter. Some of the most amazing wildlife I've ever seen in a park. We saw a few mountains, but not a lot. So if we go back, I'm sure this park could be top 20. But for now, it has to sit a bit lower. Number 36 is Isle Royale National Park. This park has pretty good trails. It has some good wildlife. I saw some moose when I went here. And I really love Stoll Trail especially and the Scoville Points. It's a really beautiful trail. Other than that, this park is a forested island and not the most impressive scenery for me. It's pretty quiet overall. There's a little more going on this year because there's a lot going on in national parks. But overall, this is a really great park and definitely worth a visit without a doubt. Number 35 is Gates of the Arctic National Park. This one, we were the only ones in as I expected. And some of the mountains are absolutely mind-blowing. The gates themselves were the highlight. However, other than that, the mountains do not stack up against the rest of Alaska. And the overall experience, we didn't spend a bunch of days backpacking here. We only did, like, flight seeing, unfortunately. We did land in a few spots. And it was a great park to see. However, all those that we spent more time in and had a better experience in do have an advantage. Number 34 is Saguaro National Park. Many pronounce it saguaro as I used to, but it is saguaro, and there are tons of cacti here. The mountains are okay, but that's really not what the park is protecting. It's all about the wildlife and the awesome night sky. I saw so many cool animals here. Coyote, many types of rabbits, golden eagles, hawks, falcons, even great horned owls, tons of lizards, and the sunsets and stargazing here were unbelievable. The park's two separate union units are both great. I personally prefer the western unit. Seeing thousands of cacti is great, and this is just a really awesome park. Number 33 is Virgin Islands National Park. I mentioned that I'm not quite into beaches as much as other types of scenery, but the beaches here are amazing. Some are crowded, but the amazing Francis Bay had no one in the area, and there are so many turtles in these beaches. We actually saw turtles, stingrays, we even saw deer on the island. They are invasive, unfortunately. But we saw a lot of awesome animals. The only big issue with this one is that it's spread around across an island that has a lot of small towns and villages all around. So it's definitely not the most wild park out there for sure. And the scenery is not quite as amazing as the ones above it. But it's still a really great park with amazing snorkeling. Number 32 is Kenai Fjords. I've only seen the land portion, not really the coastal, except for one whale and one otter I saw at one point. Harding Ice Field is really awesome. Exit Glacier is beautiful. 
if I've seen a bit more of this park, it probably would rank higher. However, I have not seen quite enough of it for it to be in the top 30. Number 31 is Carlsbad Caverns. These are, without a doubt, the best caves I've ever seen. Really beautiful. What's above ground is not amazing, but you're there for the caves. We saw some deer above ground too. If these were my first caves, this part could still be top 10 because of how blown away I would have been. That said, I kind of knew what to expect. But they are really massive, and you can walk around them without a tour. I love that. Definitely a really great park. Number 30 is Pinnacles. This park is so underrated. It doesn't have mind-blowing scenery, cool hills with some really awesome rock formations, but other than that, you have amazing wildlife with California condors, some incredible hiking, a really awesome sense of being in the wild with very few crowds, and I just really loved my experience here. Perfect weather, I was not expecting much from this park, but it's probably the best park to come out in the 2010s decade, not that there was a lot of competition. Number 29 is Great Sand Dunes National Park. Another fairly new park, this came out 2004, and I think it should have been named earlier because the sand dunes are amazing. Absolutely massive, untouched dunes, look really amazing, with an awesome mountain backdrop. High Dune is one of my favorite hikes in any national park. I didn't go far into the mountain areas, but I really like this park. The only thing is that there wasn't as much wildlife as I heard there was going to be, but it's still a really, really beautiful park. Number 28 is the underrated Great Basin. This is in the middle of nowhere, Nevada, and I really, really loved it here because there were no crowds, and while we didn't see the caves in the park, we saw mountains, we saw lakes, and we saw desert surrounding this area. There were quite a few animals. The hike to Wheeler Peak is amazing, I hear. We only got to the glacier, but it was really, really awesome. And it's just a really beautiful, underrated, and it's a park that I think everyone should visit because there's not a whole lot of people who go there. It'll really feel like a wild experience. Number 27 is Black Canyon of the Gunnison National Park. The canyon itself is pretty cool. However, what really boosts this park is the wildlife. I never expected to see deer, wild turkey, a snake, and a black bear in this park. We've only seen the South Rim so far, but it's a really cool canyon. Definitely nothing like the Grand Canyon. Very unique, and it's just a really awesome park, and I really enjoyed my time here. Number 26 is Haleakala National Park in Hawaii. This Hawaii park is cool. The mountain part, the top of Haleakala Peak, looks amazing. It's a crater, incredible colors. And on a good day, you can see all the way to the Big Island and other islands of Hawaii. It's really cool. I didn't see the coastal part of the national park. I saw the coastal part of the island, but not quite the park. So I can't quite speak to that as much. But the mountain is really, really amazing. Number 25. Top 25 starting off. Rangel St. Elias National Park. I have not seen all of this park. I've gone to the McCarthy area, and it's not quite as impressive as some other Alaska parks. Alaska is the most beautiful state in my eyes. This area is still really great, though. Root Glacier Trail is absolutely stunning. Whitewater rafting here is amazing. We saw a moose. It's not a very crowded park. McCarthy is a great area. It's definitely worth visiting. Fantastic park for sure. Number 24 is Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. And even though I didn't see lava here, and the lava was closed due to a government shutdown when I went, the crater and the caldera, absolutely beautiful. I love the forest trails, I saw some wildlife, I'm a big sucker for volcanic and geothermal stuff, and this park delivers. Really, really amazing, and so much to see and do. Number 23 is Dry Tortugas National Park in Florida. The best national park east of the Mississippi, without a doubt. Scenery here... It's really just a beach, but below the water, you have amazing coral reefs. Probably the best snorkeling I've ever done outside of the Great Barrier Reef in Australia. There's really awesome wildlife here. Saw sharks, turtles. Fort Jefferson is such a fascinating historic site that I really love my time in. Taking the seaplane is an absolute must, 
as you can see, shipwrecks, turtles, other wildlife from the actual plane. We saw a rainbow the day we went. It's such a fascinating park, the perfect balance of scenery and history, and really one that I think everybody should try to get to. Number 22 is Sequoia National Park. Another great one in California. This one's mountains are stunning. General's Highway is one of my favorite scenic drives in the country. I like the Sequoia Groves. The only issue is that they are the most crowded areas without a doubt. We saw some nice wildlife in the southern regions. Just a really nice park. Number 21 is Mount Rainier. I've never seen the full mountain, but I've seen great stuff. Beautiful forest with some crystal clear rivers, great waterfalls, other mountains and some glaciers at the actual base of the mountain. It's a really beautiful park. I haven't seen the main attraction, but that does not mean it's any less amazing. Number 20 is Arches National Park. <clears throat> I once went here, and it wasn't my favorite. I went back in 2021. It was so amazing. Driving through this park is beautiful, and the delicate arch trail is so amazing. If you get good lighting, it has some of the best photo opportunities in any national park. So many great day hikes. There's not a whole lot to do for more avid hikers. There's a bit of backcountry area, but not a ton. It's a really great park. I've been so fortunate to see deer here every time I go. It's a really amazing desert park. Just edging it out is its neighbor. Number 19 is Canyonlands. What used to be in my bottom 10 after my last experience where I went to the Needles has gone way up. With Chesler Park being one of the top 5 best hikes ever. Period. It's just amazing. Island of the Sky is really beautiful, though not quite as grand and impressive as some other canyons. The Needles area is so cool, as it feels a lot more like Zion, where you're beneath the ground, looking up at some beautiful desert mountains, orange cliffs and peaks. Really, really great park. Number 18 is Lassen Volcanic National Park. What an amazing place. Pretty quiet park, with two of the best trails in the parks. Lassen Peak and Bumpus Hell are both moderate trails, and they're both really great. Nice scenery, cool geothermal stuff. It's a lot like Yellowstone. It has a lot of the elements of Yellowstone on a smaller scale, and as far as Yellowstone goes, that's a pretty good thing because Yellowstone's a great park. And Lassen Volcanic is definitely a great park as well. Number 17 is Bryce Canyon. What an awesome site. This canyon has such fascinating rock features. It looks really cool. You can get some great photos. Hiking into the canyon is great. It's a lot like a miniature Grand Canyon. And there's nothing wrong with that because the small intimate details are really, really amazing in this one. And they edge out Canyonlands because it's not quite as flat, I should say, as the canyons there. Bryce Canyon has so many awesome rocky spires. Number 16 is Rocky Mountain National Park in Colorado. The mountains here are great and the scenic drive is good. I like the hikes that you can do. The wildlife here is a standout. We've seen moose, bighorn sheep, coyote, elk, deer, and some fawns of the deer. It's a really great park, a pretty popular one, but other than that, it's a really amazing mountain park. Now for the top 15, and all of these are absolutely amazing parks. Like, you have to get to these. Number 15 is Death Valley National Park. Death Valley is one of the, shockingly, most diverse parks in the system. Mountains, sand dunes, badlands, crazy deserts, salt flats, and so much more. There's even some small canyons. I saw quite a bit of wildlife here, not large mammals by any means, but quite a bit going on. The hikes here are amazing, and Zabriskie Point is a stunning view. The one thing I'm going to say against the park is that Badwater Basin was not quite as amazing as I expected. The rest of the park, though, is just absolutely fantastic. Number 14 is Channel Islands National Park, without a doubt one of the most underrated. This is called the Galapagos of North America, and I see why. The scenery here is really cool. Crazy volcanic islands, there are some mountains on them. It's not as forested in as some of the other island parks, and there's a lot more scenery you can see. There's some really awesome cliffs that are really amazing to look at. Beautiful beaches. It's really good scenery. Not by any means the best scenery in the park, but that is okay, as the hiking, the lack of crowds, and the wildlife are amazing. 
Wildlife here, amazing. Foxes, whales, dolphins, lizards of all sorts, really cool seabirds, seal, sea lions, porpoises even. There's a lot of cool animals we got to see. The history behind the islands is really cool. I was just really taken in by the wildlife. Such great wildlife experiences definitely deserve a really high ranking. Number 13 is Crater Lake. Seeing this park on a clear day with amazing mountains surrounding, it's just one of the best. Photos don't do this justice. Crater Lake is stunning. Massive lake, beautiful blue, amazing mountains surrounding. There's a few good hikes. We saw some wildlife. There's waterfalls. It's a really great park. Without a doubt, one of my favorites. Number 12, a super underrated one, Theodore Roosevelt National Park in North Dakota. The Badlands here are better than the ones in Badlands for me because they're a little more rugged and they're a lot more colorful. And I just thought it was a lot cooler. They f seem a lot larger actually, and certain overlooks really look amazing. However, to add to this, you have basically no crowds. We never saw a single other car on the park road. Wildlife here, bison, wild horses, elk, deer, if you're lucky, bighorn sheep, and then many prairie dogs. That is really, really awesome. But the highlight is Cottonwood Campground, the single best campground in the country that I've experienced, with great stargazing and a really awesome riverfront view. Number 11 is Grand Teton National Park. These mountains are really beautiful and probably just as beautiful as Crater Lake. Besides that, you have a few waterfalls, lakes, and some forest areas. There are so many great overlooks from the mountains, and they're really the star. But to add to this, you have amazing wildlife. I saw bison, elk, deer, and even quite a few moose, and what I thought was a bear but ended up being more elk. But there were a lot of bears in the park when we went, so we didn't actually end up seeing any. And the hiking is pretty good. A float trip on the Snake River is an absolute must in this park as we got up close to beavers and bald eagles, and it was a really cool experience. Now for the top 10. Top 10 is almost impossible to get, unless you're one of the 10 most amazing places in the country. Number 10 is Olympic National Park. Absolutely beautiful and stunning diversity. Mountains, rainforest, beaches, this park has it all. Add some great waterfalls, amazing wildlife. It's a really awesome park very spread out that's one thing that some may not like but i don't mind the large size of the park it's a really really amazing place number nine is grand canyon national park one of the most popular and famous places in the entire natural world grand canyon i have not been to the north rim yet but i've hiked all the way to plateau point in the south rim and that is an amazing experience seeing a california condor was unforgettable there's so many different overlooks it's a really amazing sight. The canyon is massive. The only thing that may turn off some is that the South Rim is kind of laid out a bit more like a tourist destination. There's a lot of hotels, but honestly, I think civilization in this case barely takes away from the incredible canyon the park is known for. Number eight is Zion National Park. Why did I give this the edge over Grand Canyon? I honestly think it's way more beautiful. I really do. Angel's Landing is an even better hike than Bright Angel. It's one of the best hikes I've ever done. Really, really amazing. There's some good wildlife here that we saw, like bighorn sheep and deer. It's pretty quiet in a few areas, surprisingly. When you're in the main area, it's very crowded. That might turn off some. But it's a really, really amazing park. With some of the best desert scenery anywhere in the world. Number 7 is Big Bend National Park. This is the single most underrated park I've been to. It is stunning. The Chisos Mountains are amazing, with Lost Mine Trail being my second favorite hike I've ever done. The wildlife is shockingly good with deer, coyotes, bears, a lot of smaller animals, and incredible bird life. The stargazing is unbelievable. And the desert areas that are not in the mountains are really cool too. I love the canyons. There are multiple canyons here. The riverfront is really awesome. Cool rock formations. Such a large park with so much to do. There's so much you can see and do in this park, and I absolutely love it. Number six is Yosemite National Park. Not long ago, 
this was number three. It was for a while. I've just gone to quite a few amazing parks, but Yosemite is still amazing. The last few times I went, crowds were not a huge factor. The hiking here is top-notch. And the scenery, probably one of the five most beautiful parks in the country. The experiences are great too. I've seen a bit of good wildlife. I really love Yosemite. Waterfalls, granite peaks, cool forests to supplement, but they don't take away from the main star, the awesome rocky cliffs. There's some cool history. Tunnel View is one of the best sites ever. It's just an amazing park. Number five is Katmai in Alaska. This is one of three Alaska parks in my top five. Alaska is amazing. Katmai has incredible mountains. The Valley of 10,000 Smokes is an area covered in volcanic ash. There's some beautiful lakes. Flying over the park is stunning and walking through it's even better. The scenery is great, but the highlight is the wildlife. Brooks Falls is a famous place to see bears fishing. I've never seen anything quite like it before. Watching bears catch fish, tear into them. It's such an amazing display of nature right in front of you. Easily one of the best parks. Just edging it out, number four is Lake Clark, also in Alaska. The thing that gives us the edge for me is actually wildlife. Let's talk scenery first. Tenalian Mountain Trail is a strenuous but really amazing trail with some of the coolest panoramic views ever. So many mountains, massive lakes. It's really, really awesome. Add to this, you have other mountains all around, massive glaciers. Flying around this park, honestly, I was speechless. Wildlife etches out Katmai, though. We saw grizzly bears pretty close. We saw moose as well. We actually, though, saw gray wolves. That was the highlight. The wolf was quite close at a certain point. Not too close, fortunately, but seeing a gray wolf in a park was unbelievable. Number three, Glacier National Park. Backpacking in the Highline Trail area was absolutely amazing when I did it in 2020. One of my favorite experiences ever, and Highline is probably still my favorite trail I've ever done. The wildlife is great with bears, goats, deer, moose. The mountains are stunning, some of the best in the entire country. I love staying in Granite Park Chalet one night. Driving going to the Sum Road is great, though I've never gotten up the full road because there's always been a closure, even though I've gone pretty late in the year sometimes. It's just an unbelievable park. Absolutely a must-do. Number two is Denali in Alaska. My favorite Alaska park. Wildlife here is great. We got pretty close to bears, saw moose, caribou. We didn't see any bulls, but we did also see some dull sheep and a few cool birds and smaller mammals. The mountains here are good. There's some nice rivers, lakes. It's a good park for scenery, except for the Denali Mountain itself. The single most breathtaking sight I've ever seen in a national park. It's the most beautiful thing I've seen, and that is why I had to give it a top two spot. My experiences on the bus tours are always great. I love doing whitewater rafting once. It's a really amazing park, and the best one in Alaska, and second only to my number one, Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone has everything. It doesn't have the single best site or most beautiful places or best hike, but it has probably 10 of the most amazing places in any national park. The Geyser Basins, Grand Prismatic Spring, Old Faithful, these are great areas. To add to this, you have incredible mountains, Mount Washburn, Bunsen Peak, Electric Peak, Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. You have the Mammoth Hot Springs to add to this. There's also two amazing areas to see wildlife in Lamar and Hayden Valleys. Amazing Lake Yellowstone is an absolutely massive lake with awesome mountains around it and another geyser basin there. The wildlife is second to none. While I didn't see any wolves here except for through a telescope because it was so far away, I've seen bison, deer, elk, antelope, bears of both black and grizzly very and honestly there's just basically every animal you could have wanted to see besides moose i saw here any visit here you're pretty much guaranteed to see good wildlife it's just an amazing park if you love wildlife this will be one of your favorites scenery still one of your favorites so many great hikes here so much recreation the only thing that i kind of wish 
was not a big factor is that they have expanded some of the areas like Old Faithful as far as buildings go quite a bit in recent years. That holds back the park a little bit. But other than that, just an amazing park. Absolutely flawless. And easily the one I have the most fun in and my favorite experiences. And that's my whole list of 58 parks ranked. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still here, sticking around, subscribe to the channel so you can help support it and know when new videos come out. I have videos on Katmai, Lake Clark, Denali, and Wrangell St. Elias coming soon. I'll see you next time.